Rocks in the City dreams, do they really come true? Well, they might be right here today in New York City on 18th Street. This is casting for Sex in the City Part 2. Let's check in with Anu and Girish and find out what your, was your experience like. Tell me about the casting experience today, Anu. Well, it's the first time I've done a casting cattle call, and uh, it was the experience was quite entertaining because you get to see everybody in their uh, their idea of what they should look like. Um, heels, stilts, you know, glitter, studs, you name it. Well, not me. <laughs> no, you name it, it was there. You mentioned that you got some kind of yellow sticker. What was the experience no. like? What did they do? Did they I take your know. picture? Did you bring a picture? No. I didn't. I knew nothing. I know nothing. I just showed up. And basically, you wait online for an hour to get your picture taken, which I was like, what was that about? And uh, you fill out a form. An hour? <laughs> yeah, one hour and a half, actually. So I filled out a form, and uh, they, people walk down the line that you're on when you're inside. Uh, and then they put a green dot on my form, and I have no idea what that means. Maybe Middle Eastern? Okay, mm -hmm. I'll go with that. Girish, what was your experience like? Maybe today? it was Go Green, that's why they put like Go Green <laughs> for us going on because of Bloom, Bloomberg thing. He said yellow was also I had a uh, first time something different, and because I tried to put myself as a Middle Eastern, but I'm not Middle Eastern, and then the good thing is that another good thing as a shooting is like they didn't mention Indian in that they should have mentioned Indian in that because I look more Indian but I have to put fake Middle East and South Asian something like that and uh, what else I met a lot of people try to talk one of the girls was standing in like you know tried to come in I made a sneak inside the line come stand next to me and then I asked her she was working in a studio she worked for a theater off Broadway or something like that so now everyone knows that Bollywood films get more views than any Hollywood film why would you want to do this film because I want more exposure and people to come to know how Indians are good in their ability how good I can be maybe I can do something better to prove much better than Slumdog Millionaire <laughs> I knew why an American film instead of a Bollywood film. Uh, because you told me about the casting for the American film, that's why. <laughs> Aside from that, you know, Sex in the City, if it works out, that's fabulous. Now how do you guys really feel internally being South Asian, coming to a casting call where there was nothing listed for South Asian? How many Indian folks did you see inside online? And do you feel like, you know, you, you have to go in as Middle Eastern as a South well, Asian just because of limitations in Western culture? Well, I'll tell you, um, there really weren't any uh, Indian people. There were like four or five, you know. Um, and there was only like one other one that would be comparable to my height. So, in, and in, in terms of the industry in of itself, you really don't see any uh, South Asian, aka Indian, Pakistani, Sri Lankan actors um, in, in Hollywood. Uh, I think that's uh, an area that the community, the Hollywood community, the film community really needs to consider uh, if they're going to be, you know, considering the fact that we are American and American, America means everybody in the world. Also in this day and age, you know, it's no longer so much uh, about just one group of people, it's about all groups of people. The world is coming together. So I think that's a very important thing to, to note, you know. And I think um, nowadays uh, Indians are starting to come uh, more in the vision or, or, you know, into the mindset of the American uh, population as well, well as the world population because of movies such as Slumdog Millionaire and also movies in the past uh, done by Mira Nair, you know. So, yeah, hopefully things will get better in that sense. I hope everyone listened. That was excellently said. Giris, what are your thoughts about breaking the mold of Hollywood? Because of Jai Ho. That's in your <laughs> Uh, Hollywood, like to bring up, like what? Maybe, so. Do you feel is a fair representation of Indian community in Hollywood films? Yes, it should be more because they should all recognize all different cultures and like all different kind of uh, industries. Not just to do with the Hollywood, but like the way they opened up the doors for uh, like Slumdog Millionaire when the movie came up and. It's like people are coming to know more and more and more and more, so they should have more upcoming things for the Indian plus, not just the Indian, but all over the country for everybody. Not only to do with Indian, but like Asian, European, Japanese, Chinese, whatever else, because they have everywhere something or the other in them, the secret that has some kind of a story to tell. We, it's just the thing is to explore it, nothing else. Well, the mold of sex in the city may be broken today. Dreams could come true. Casting is happening right here on 18th Street. Actually, shooting is in August. Do we have any idea when this film might be released? No clue. I'll have to talk to Sarah just to <laughs> When you check in with Sarah, I hope it means that you got in the film. Let's wish them luck. It's Anu and Girish right here at the Sex in the City Part 2 casting. Peace. Peace.